So let's get really clear what Vishnu's couch is. What is point B? Point B is you're Wait, going to be Vishnu's couch. Vishnu's. I think Vishnu. Vishnu is some type of Hindu guy. Yeah, yeah. So I just heard it. I heard it. I just Vishnu's I wanted couch. to make sure I heard you correctly. I was like, he has a couch. Yeah, he okay. does have a couch. <laughs> so what it will look like is you're going from throne here, and then you're going to transition over. Your hands are with your basis hands here. Over. Open your legs out. Bring this foot out here and then you're into a couch on the side like this. Her feet are between your legs here, supporting you up. And then your body will naturally want to bend like this, engage your core, keep it tight like that. And the other foot's on the armpit here, okay? So we'll demonstrate it first. Okay. Sammy, please. And let's look at what some possible falls will be, okay? So we're in throne. Bun throw. From here, uh, for this one, for this throne, let's keep the throne, the closer the feet is towards the groin, the more comfortable it will be for you as the flyer. So if her feet are way towards the knees, it won't be good, but this is a good spot there. Okay. But I'm going to press into this hand a lot, shift my foot over, cross my foot over my foot here, land into this armpit here, switch over into her leg. As I extend out this way, I need to bring, see how my hip is turning towards her? Yeah. I need to lean back this way, engage my core, and lean back this way. Get this stack above this hip, get the shoulder not turn in, but stack above my shoulder, straighten out. Watch how this top foot is hooked over. It helps to support, otherwise your legs go like that. Okay. Support it, straighten it out. Once it's clamped there, she finds her 90, keep the stack, you're laying out like this. Fall wise. This way, easy, right? Onto the, onto the yeah. feet. Over this, this way, way, turn like, in. Watch her face. You've got to watch your face, correct, because you see the turn in. More than likely, money yeah, right you know, <laughs> money maker. You're not going to fall back, generally speaking, because your base generally always has the feet a little towards their face. Okay. That's just common. No one's going to base to where their legs are way back here. Most of the time, they're more because the base has their hands to protect themselves. Mm -hmm. So generally, they'll keep their feet more towards their face. And when you fall, you're naturally going to turn towards the mat, and because of that, you'll you'll fall either this way or that way towards your where most of your body weight, which is towards your head and your shoulders, right? So be mindful of spot that fall, and also feet wide enough to where you don't land on your base of space. And your the base, be careful and keep your hands up to protect yourself too. Okay, now let's let's break that down bit by bit. How to make this transition easier? Okay, it's pretty challenging actually. There's a lot of little. Because when you're, when you're starting in throne here, it we doesn't start, look easy. So we're really close here, right? When we're starting in throne here, we have four points of contact. That's why it's well balanced, it's like a table, right? Mm -hmm. um, so you won't even sit up in like regular throne. You'll just be in like this perch throne here, leaning forward. From here, she takes, um, she keeps this foot on, but I'm going to bring my foot over. She takes that foot, as soon as she takes that foot off, all my weight wants to fall onto this side, right? So now you have to distribute that weight into the hands there. So I'm putting weight into the hands. She hooks over, brings the foot onto the armpit there. So I'm still kind of like, leg and kind of bowed out like this. Main point is to be able to transition that foot from your leg into the armpit. And the only way you can do that, it's just like getting rid of a new habit. Let's say if you had, you've been smoking for a long time, you gotta get rid of smoking. You can't just quit overnight. You've gotta have something to balance out that smoking habit with. So I see that as when you're transitioning from the foot to the leg, you have to put all the weight into this hand to distribute that weight. And then once you're locked out, keep the foot up, straighten, plant your legs together. It makes it safe, nice and solid for her. Make sure to stack the hips over. Okay. Sometimes you're, this shoulder will be far too back. Stack it right above. You're good. If you Ooh. fall, you turn, turn towards the mat, okay? Did you so, do that on purpose? Because she kind of freaked out. <laughs> yeah, I've gotten used to him doing that, yeah. though, too. <laughs> so you always want to be mindful of, the, of that fall. If you're falling, watch for the face, plant your arms, turn towards the mats, and distribute as much of the weight as possible between your feet and your hands. Okay. Okay? So to warm up for that, let's first stay on the ground. Let's first go from throne here. And then go transition from here taking this, pressing from here, four points of contact, take your left hand up, put all your weight onto your right hand. Take this 
right foot, cross it over. Good. And cross your foot over your foot like this. Foot over the foot. And from there, slowly bend this arm and lean into it. And then there, stick your leg out. I like practicing these motions on the ground so then you know <laughs> what you're doing in the, the yeah. air first. It's a lot of mermaid dancing. Yeah. Yeah. I'm saying mermaid <laughs> That looks like to me. I'm sorry. So the most challenging part for me for that, I think, is the um, that first kind of putting all your weight into this one right hand. So you're here, putting all the weight into this hand, shifting this foot over, like that. Your hips are off of the ground. It's just this one foot and this one hand. Learn how to do that first. And then from there, lower yourself. Okay. Okay, let's warm up with that.